Welcome along, so good to have you with me again. Time for another video. Before we get started, you know the drill by now. I'm gonna ask you to hit that subscribe button. If you've not already done so, why not? Takes a second, free to do so, helps me so much. Also hit that notifications bell and give me a thumbs up if you like my content to help me reach a wider audience and spread the goodness of Microsoft 365. Today, in this video, we are gonna be talking all about Microsoft Teams. I'm gonna share with you five tips for being more productive within Microsoft Teams. These are little features that you may not know about or you've forgotten about. I certainly had forgotten about a few of them, but these are tips that are gonna help you stay focused and make you more productive and help with your well-being as well. So without any further ado, let's take a look. Number five, create a task. We've all been there. There's a lot of content in Teams on a day-to-day -day basis that we need to keep on top of, and we might easily forget about it. In a Teams chat or a channel, we're gonna get important messages from colleagues. And as we scroll through our day and get distracted and move on to other things, it's easily uh, disregarded. What you can do though is use tasks. You can create a task right from the item within Teams. So here I have an important message sent to me by another version of me. And I can click on the three dots or the ellipses. And what I can do is I can go to more actions and I can choose the option to create a task. This is awesome. So if I do that, the box pops up and it tells me to create the task. Where do I want to create it? In tasks, I can set the priority, which uh, can be medium or important. Let's put this one as important. I can set a due date for that task. So let's just give me, uh, let's give myself a week to, to deal with all that. And then I can add the task. It's as simple as that. Now, if I go into my tasks on the left-hand bar within Teams, I should have there you go, a lovely important task that I can go into and I can add items to that and I can get reminders. Absolutely brilliant. I'm not gonna forget about that now. Number four, share to Outlook. Similar to creating a task from a Teams item, I can share that content to Outlook. So I can do the same thing. Right from this important message in my Teams channel, I can click on the three dots again, those ellipses, and I have the option here to share to Outlook. Awesome, so I can click on that and I can send the message to whoever I want to send it to. Awesome, in this case, I will choose to send it just to myself and click on send and it's simple as that. So I have shared this right to my email and if I switch over to my email here, there it is right away. We can open it up and I've got my Teams message shared right to Outlook. A really great way to also send reminders from Teams that you want to look at later and share with others from email. Really cool stuff. Number three, share to Teams. Similar to sharing to Outlook from Teams, I can do the same in reverse. If I get an email and I want to share that with my colleagues within Teams, then I can share it to Teams. I can open up the email, I can click on the little waffle symbol here from within the email, and I have the option here to share to Teams. And if I click onto that option, I see these options here, share to Microsoft Teams. And I can share to the name of a person, a group, or a channel. So I can share with another individual, a group within Microsoft 365, or a channel name that I happen to know. I happen to know that I have a channel called Purchasing. So I can select Purchasing, and I can choose to share this item right to that channel in Microsoft Teams. If there were any attachments, I could click to include them. There aren't in this case, so I'll go ahead and I will share. And it's as simple as that. My email is on its way to Teams. Okay, so if we go to Teams now, click on our purchasing, there it is, straight away. That took no time at all. The item has been shared within the Teams channel for everyone to see. And they can all see this important email that it was necessary to share with the whole team. Number two, use Viva Insights. 
Viva Insights is a really powerful tool that is baked right into Teams, and it's going to get you into good habits for well-being, productivity, and teamwork. There are so many things that you can do within Viva Insights. You can send praise to your colleagues, you can disconnect to get quiet time, you can set up your virtual commute reminders to unwind at the end of your working day and mindfully disconnect with activities to help you prepare for the next working day. You can set up focus time so you can be undisturbed for periods of time within the day and use Headspace Focus as well to have quick mindfulness exercises, really cool stuff. Under well-being, we can set up our quiet time, our virtual commute, we can set up our focus plan for within the week or change the settings, and it will book that right into your calendar. You can act with intention here and set focus time for the coming week. Click on book, it's that simple. That's gonna appear right in your calendar. You can reflect on your emotions, how you're feeling in this day, and set reminders to do that. I'm feeling very good today. And we can see the reflection history and track your moods. Productivity, we can see your meeting habits and your meeting details. I'm working in a demo tenant right now, so there's not much populated within here of real activities, but this is gonna help you to understand the meetings that you've attended and uh, show if you are spending too much time online and, uh, and patterns. Teamwork, it's going to show you how you can build better relationships, the time you've spent collaborating with others and your communication habits, and so on and so forth. Awesome stuff. I can't encourage using Viva Insights enough. It will help you to build better habits and relationships within Microsoft Teams. And number one, use the Files tab. This is a feature that is so, so powerful and it's also one that I am constantly forgetting all about, but it's really so cool. In the Files tab, you can get quick access to pretty much everything that you need to work on. If you click on Home, you can see all of your recent documents. You can filter by Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF and get quick access to your recent content. You can click on My Files to see your own OneDrive content. Click on to Shared to see content that you have shared or has been shared by you. Awesome stuff indeed. Also, you can click on quick access to take you right to uh, communication sites within SharePoint online and explore other places. But the really powerful thing as well is that you can add other locations for cloud storage right into Microsoft Teams. Here I've added my Google Drive and I can see all of my content that are stored within my Google Drive, within Google Docs, and it's not just Google Docs either, you can store Word content in there as well, it's Microsoft formatted, really cool. If you want, you can add other cloud storage into there, like Dropbox, like Box, like Ignite, add it in, authenticate, it's really that simple. This is a great way to work right within Microsoft Teams. Never leave Teams throughout your working day to be productive and get the content that you need. Otherwise, you'd be going into the OneDrive app, going into the browser for the SharePoint site that you want, going into another browser tab or a sync location for your Google Drive and so on. Here, you can get it all right in one handy location. Super, super cool. And there you go. Those are my five tips today for using Microsoft Teams to stay productive and well. Check them out. You won't regret it. It'll help you to work more effectively. Thanks again for checking out another video from me. It means a lot, especially when you hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss another video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content and reach out in the comments to let me know what you think and share some of your top tips for using Microsoft Teams. That's about it for today, folks. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you soon on another video. Take care. Bye.